The Columbia River, cutting 1,200 miles through Washington and Oregon, is the fourth largest river in America. Beneath the surface of this mighty river swims a mighty fish, the white sturgeon. It's the largest freshwater fish on the continent, but these incredible creatures are the target of poachers who want their eggs for highly coveted caviar, putting the species in peril. Our environmental news partner, EarthFix, has this report. It's a high-speed pursuit in an unlikely place, the Columbia River. Wildlife cops are chasing down a big problem. Poachers catching and killing giant sturgeon, putting the whole population of these fish at risk. Oregon and Washington wildlife officers are on patrol in the Columbia River above Bonneville Dam. They're checking to make sure the fishers here are catching sturgeon within the legal size limit. Keeping fish that are too big or too small is poaching. Any fish? Yeah, I got two. Uh, Perfect. The officers say sturgeon numbers on the river have been dropping, and it's unclear exactly why. They suspect poaching is part of the problem, and they're doing their part to stop it. Be right there with the tape laying underneath is going to give you the straightest line, but that is that is right there. There you go. And so that's, that's the legal measurement. Sturgeon are slow growing fish. It takes them 20 years to reach maturity and start reproducing. By then, they're more than five feet long. Fishing rules are designed to protect the bigger female fish that carry the eggs, crucial to the future of the sturgeon population. But those eggs are also a delicacy, prized as some of the world's finest caviar. As sturgeon populations decline worldwide, the market for illegal caviar is growing. Officials say they're seeing signs that demand is driving poachers to the Columbia River. People saying, hey, we're not finding fish anymore. We used to catch fish here all the time. All we're finding is shakers or the undersize. We're not seeing oversized fish anymore. To us, that sends off a red flag because we know that there should be fish here, and so we know that we're missing something. But how could the cops be missing people poaching sturgeon that are more than five feet long? Wildlife cops say poachers use a common tactic to sneak illegal sturgeon out of the river. They take it to a secluded stretch of the river and tie it to the bank. They keep the fish alive and hidden underwater. That way, it'll stay fresh while they look for a black market buyer. Then, they wait until nightfall to sneak back to the river and retrieve the fish. Poachers hope to get lucky and find a giant sturgeon full of eggs. Sturgeon eggs make very expensive caviar, and the biggest sturgeon can carry up to 100 pounds of eggs. At $25 a pound, the eggs from one fish can sell for $2,500. Once they're processed into caviar, those eggs can sell for a whopping $200 an ounce. That's $3,200 a pound. That means the biggest sturgeon could ultimately be worth more than $300,000. Tribal fisherman Clifford Schippentower says he knows some people are poaching sturgeon, and it hurts his business and his family tradition. I come from a big fishing family, and it's since being from the Columbia River, I got ancestors that's been here for thousands of years that did the same thing, fished a big river. Shippentower says it's worth it for him to follow the rules. He catches legal size fish and sells them to fish markets where they're cut up into fillets. He worries poachers could ultimately ruin his fishery. Just hope that the fish, you know, don't get too depleted to where we can't fish for them anymore. Mitch Hicks is the chief of enforcement for the Columbia River tribes. He has a strategy for catching sturgeon poachers. This area right here is where we have found oversized sturgeon before. They've been tied with ropes and attached to the, the shoreline here. We have a high cliff here. We have some deep water. It's secluded. So if we were doing a routine patrol, you know, we would, we would be running our boat fairly close to the shore, looking for lines, cables, 
uh, anything that would look out of place. Police have also tried another tactic to catch poachers, going undercover and pretending to be one of them. So you don't just walk down to the Columbia River and start buying illegal fish. You know, you have to develop a relationship, people have to be comfortable with you, and you need to know when you need to be there. In 2007, wildlife enforcement officials organized a sting to catch poachers selling illegal fish. They caught 33 people in the act. There were 19 trips that were centered around trying to buy illegal sized fish. And out of those 19 trips, 17 solicitations were successful. That's high odds that trafficking is out of control. As for these poachers, they were arrested and the case is pending. Officers say they're looking out for the fish that have lived on the river for hundreds of millions of years. Sturgeon to me are like a, uh, an old growth tree that they're, they're not just a, a fish that, well, you take one, you can grow another one. I mean, these, these sturgeon are slow, slow growing and um, need to be valued. And they're on the lookout for anyone who's putting these ancient fish at risk.